Hey love bugs, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'm flossing and finessing this beautiful wig that I just installed. I'm going to be sharing the start to finish install with you guys here on this video. This one comes courtesy of Sterly Hair. And if you're interested, keep on watching. So this is the wig straight out of the box. I'm showing you what she looks like on. Here's a quick look at the inside construction of the cap. We are going for a lace frontal wig and it does come as a body wave texture the color combo is p427 which is like a brown and blonde highlight mix and it's actually looking really good on my skin it's a free part lace wig but i'm going to go ahead and stamp it as a center part i feel like you really can't go wrong with a buzz down middle part on any given day so i'm going to use the dynamic duo to go in and just really stamp this out i love 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 the wax stick from bdecbd.com i paired with the electric hot comb and yes i go for the highest heat setting because i really like it when i can get it super duper duper flat and neat around the lace area and as you guys can see i take my time i'm doing multiple heat passes feel free to use a heat protectant to protect your tresses and once i get it how i like it which is super duper 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 flat i'm gonna go ahead and work on cutting off the excess lace i kind of do it in sections you can just go ahead and do it like in one big whop but for me typically i will go in and just cut off the excess lace around the ears and then i'll do like one half in the front and then the other half until we are complete coffee is essential for me for day-to-day -day survival if you don't drink coffee how do you survive i don't know if it's just because i'm a mom but i have to have my coffee every day every day every day here i am and i'm going to be doing a glueless install today it's going to be glueless but we are bonding it down with a hairspray so typically a hairspray you use it on your curls and you know to hold your hairstyle in place but it you know that like tacky sticky feeling sometimes it gives when you put too much hairspray well that technically can work to bond a wig down temporarily so i went ahead and added a little bit to the center i blow dried on a cool setting until it got tacky and stuck to my head and i repeated that same step on each side until the entire thing was bonded down now I decided to do baby hair. I just feel like um, I didn't want to look like a Barbie doll. Even though this one is pre-plugged to perfection, I just kind of feel like sometimes baby hair will cancel out the Barbie doll effect of some wigs, especially when they are not like a natural color, which blonde is not my natural color. And I think I did a really, really good job on the baby hair today. It's not too much and it definitely can be taken away. So if on a day I do want to just do a no baby hair look, I can use that same wax I just used in the previous step um, and send the hair back and, you know, use a hot comb to go ahead and mold it into the rest of the hair and it'll look like there's still no baby hair. And then I can just, you know, pull it out when I'm ready. So it's still versatile even if you do cut the baby hair. And I am using the edge control also from BDECBD.com. Um, and I just paired our, like, apply it at the base of the um like lace of the baby hair and then i just use an edge brush to kind of swoop it until i get what i like now i'm going to go ahead and tint everything to make it just look perfect and bring it home here i'm using a um, cream foundation which i don't think i've ever used a cream foundation on my face i'm not quite sure if i have but it does work well really well as a lace tint in the parting then i'm also going to use the corresponding powder it's a foundation powder from ruby kisses along the hairline and i love the way that came out now i'm just brushing the hair to see like what we're working with and honestly the body wave was body waving i honestly didn't want to do anything i think it looked beautiful in its natural state i loved how like soft and just wavy it looked you can add a little serum or oil sheen and you're literally good to go especially because your lace is looking so good but for the sake of the video it wouldn't be a tutorial if i didn't do something to the end so i did pull out my handy dandy wand curler this one is from target and it's affordable it's under 40 it's under 30 i think it's in the 20 dollar range i'll find it on the internet and put it in the description box for you guys well i'm just saying the internet i'll find it and i'll link it tastefully respectfully it'd be a good link directly to target for you guys or you could find it on Amazon as well. And I just did some simple curls, nothing too crazy along the entire side. I added this flexible hold hairspray from, I think this was from Pantene, um, just to kind of like make sure the curls didn't just disappear. And then I went ahead and touched it up a little bit and did the opposite side off camera. Now we're done with both sides and I'm just gonna comb these out with a shower comb. And you guys can see this one holds a curl like a dream. My curls were not perfect when I did them and they still came out super 
super flawless absolutely gorgeous and it would be even amazing if you cut layers into it but i did not on this particular day the hairline the baby hair everything about this one looks really good especially against my complexion here i'm showing you guys the products that they included including this wig tape as well as some elastic bands and combs they gave me um, wig caps they gave me lashes and this is the look i hope you guys enjoyed this one if i did not mention she's 24 inches in length 180 percent density and yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like this video and share with your friends and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches